way, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we will be reviewing the ever so popular Cole Buxton warm up sweatpants and we'll also be showing off a lookbook. These pants are just amazing and I can't wait to show them off to you guys. Like always, all the items in this video will be linked down below, so feel free to check them out. If you enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe with the bell for more fashion content. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram for extras and behind the scenes. Enough chitter chatter, let's get right into it. So sit back, relax, maybe grab a drink and enjoy the video. So getting into the pants themselves, they are in a nice faded black, almost grey colorway. It gives off a vintage vibe, which was the vibe that they are going for when they created this piece. The material is very thick, but not as soft as I expected it to be. That doesn't hurt the coziness of the pants though, as these are still some of the most comfortable sweatpants I've ever put on. Another important aspect about these pants are the cuffs. The cuffs are very tight and certainly won't lose shape over the years to come. Unlike many other sweatpants, you are able to adjust the height of the cuffs. If you want, say, a more cropped look, you can raise them up on your legs or keep them down for a more relaxed look. I picked them up in a size medium, and for reference I am 5'10 with a size 30 waist. I decided that I should size up for a more oversized and cozy look. In all, if you're looking to invest in a nice, high quality pair of pants, then you can't go wrong with these. Honestly, I recommend them more than any other pant out there. I have been living in them for the past week, and I can't get enough of them. Right, I think I've been talking enough, and you guys are all eager to see the looks, so let's get right into the first look. The first look I have here is the perfect example of how I like to style these sweatpants. I paired them up with a simple white tee and this lovely black overshirt. Both the tee and the overshirt are for Uniqlo and are fantastic quality for the price I paid for them. Uniqlo has been my top brand for a long time now and I constantly insist that you go check them out if you're looking for high quality starters. On feet, I stepped into my Dr. Martin boots in a black colorway. I think these boots look amazing with the Cole Buxton sweatpants. The boots add a little edge to the outfit and go great with the faded black colorway of the pants. I grabbed my favorite cream tote bag and paired that up with a black beanie. Both these accessories are from ASOS and ASOS is a great place that you'll find affordable accessories that give you the desired look that you want. I wore the same tee as in the last outfit, except in a black colorway. This keeps the whole outfit kind of looking dark and tonal. On feet, I wore my Dr. Martin boots once again to keep up these dark tones and also, you know how much I love this combo. I accessorized with the beanie and tote bag once again to keep up this clean and minimalistic look. This look is perfect for small trips out of the house or when you just want to lounge around. I think that's where these sweatpants really shine. They manage to elevate a simple outfit into something, well, less simple. This can work for any outfit and the pants just give off such a nice, unique vibe. This next outfit is a fantastic way of styling an overcoat in a more casual manner. 
I wore this gray hoodie and paired over a black overcoat. Surprise, surprise, both these pieces are again from Uniqlo. Uniqlo hoodies are actually very underrated, and I really love how sturdy the hood is on them. The material and the coziness is just top notch, so I can't recommend them enough. The overcoat is also amazing, made from a wool cashmere blend, and it fits slightly oversized, which is perfect for a look like this. I think it makes them seem less formal, and allows them to be styled effortlessly and easily with any look. On feet, I switched it up with these all-white sneakers from Koss. These sneakers are a great crisp and clean sneaker that will go with any look you put it on. And they are made of leather, so hopefully they will stay this way for many years to come. Once again, I finished off the fit with my tote bag and a grey beanie. A puffer jacket goes great with these pants. This is a great puffer jacket from ASOS and is a super nice simple basic. I sized up so it would fit me more oversized which tends more to my style. I feel like everyone needs a nice puffer jacket that they can wear to keep warm without looking like they're trying too hard. I layered it over a simple white tee to keep up the brightness in the fit which is opposite of the last look. With this in mind, I stepped into my cause sneakers again to keep the brightness flowing from head to toe. They are so simple and you just really can't go wrong with them. Speaking of which, I tossed on a grey beanie to keep up the bright grey tones. This outfit is really something you can wear to any occasion and you can't go wrong with a puffer jacket combo. The last outfit with these pants is a total librarian vibe. I paired up this cream turtleneck right here with this black cardigan from Zara. Both these knitted pieces complement each other and will keep you very warm, you gotta trust me with that one. Layering a cardigan over a turtleneck is something that I hadn't thought of before but actually goes really well together. One thing though, if you get itchy to different wool fabrics, then I would highly recommend that you don't wear this outfit. You will be itching and scratching for days. To make sure I didn't actually look like a librarian, I tossed on my Dr. Martin boots to add a little bit of flavor. They go along nicely with the rest of the outfit. Knitted pieces seem to go really well with boots like these, especially the Dr. Martins. I don't know what it is, but it keeps up a almost formal like grunge vibe that I really dig. To finish, I put on a cream beanie to keep up with the tones of the turtleneck. Well, that was my review of the Cole Buxton warm up pants. If you're interested in purchasing these, link will be down in the description so you can get yourself a pair. I highly recommend them. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with a bell. Also, follow me on Instagram at 7hangers for behind the scenes and extra outfits. That basically wraps it up. I hope you have a great day everyone. Besides that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.